guys, welcome to another video. So as you can see, we've got a ruckus happening behind us, but I wanted to share my two favorite crate pads for dogs that dig and dogs that destroy, AKA dogs like Maverick. <laughs> so Maverick will destroy a bed. Um, he will chew a bed, he will dig a bed. So we went through a few beds and we figured out <laughs> what works best for him and so I wanted to share those two with you so um, let's just jump right into it so bear with me we have a lot of rock trucks um, passing by the house currently so I'm going to try to cut out any of that noise so there's probably going to be a lot of um, <laughs> edit cuts in this clip but these are primo pads I've got one in each one of the dogs car crates Juno has one in her crate in the house and Maverick has also had one in his crate in the house as well. Primo pads are heat sealed shut, meaning that they are completely waterproof. Um, they are sealed all the way around the edges so no water can get into the pad. This also makes them super easy to clean. You can wipe them down or hose them down. They do custom fit them. So for example, when I ordered these, for the car crates, I ordered specifically large single door rough land size and they fit wonderfully in these kennels. And it's the same thing for the wire crates. They sell a bunch of different sizes. You'll probably not have any issue finding, you know, one for your crate, but they also do custom sizes. So like, let's say you have TNC crates or something like that in your car or custom crates um, in your house. Oh my goodness, these birds. <laughs> um, they will custom, you can order custom sizes as well. Okay, I'm really sorry about these birds, y'all, but it's springtime and they have nests all over the place around here, so they're gonna be a little loud. But I did wipe down Maverick's Primo pad, and I wanted to show you his specifically because, like I mentioned earlier, Maverick is a digger. So you can see on the surface of the Primo pad that he's a digger. <laughs> but I have had the this pad for a year, and he hasn't even basically done any damage to it. It's, I wouldn't even call this surface damage. I mean, it's, it's barely even there. You can only see it because these have like, there you go, they have like a sheen to them. So you can kind of see it here, but this pad has absolutely no damage on it. And what makes the custom fit of these crate pads so great is that that means they fit very tight. So as you can see, this is the pad in the rough land. It fits very tight all the way around the edges. It actually fits under those knobs um, on all the sides, which helps a lot too. But he cannot get this up. It doesn't matter how much he digs, you know, at the corners, anywhere. He has not been able to lift this pad so that he can chew on it because he will chew on it if he can lift it. And he has not managed in a year to get this pad up. So truthfully cannot recommend these pads enough. Um, I will go inside and show you Juno's in the wire crate too because there's a few differences but the functionality is very much so the same um, where they can't get them up so they can't chew them and digging doesn't do any damage. So this is Juno's crate in the house, her wire crate. Before I laid it flat I just wanted to show you how the pad you know secures to the kennel. So Primo Pads puts small slits across the edge of the pad all the way around and then they provide you with reusable zip ties. So these are the ones that have the tab that you can open and then close and it's secured all the way around the outside of the crate and it's super secure. They cannot get it up, same thing as the wire crates, it really like locks in here and secures down. Maverick was never able to get his pad up. Um, I will get to why I switched him to a different pad when I talk about the other pad that I really like, but it had absolutely nothing to do with the integrity of Primo pads. So here is the pad in the wire crate. You do take the plastic tray out to put the Primo pads in, but one thing I absolutely love about the Primo pads is that you can fold this wire crate up without having to take the pad out. So when we travel, 
um, let's say Airbnbs and stuff, the dogs do sleep in these wire crates at, you know, other places that we go to. <laughs> so I like that I don't have to take the pad out to travel with it. The crate folds up just fine with the pads inside. So this is Maverick's crate with his gorilla dog bed in it. And I'll preface this by saying the only reason I switched him from a Primo pad is because Juno normally has an additional like fluffy, you know, Petco dog bed on or inside her crate on top of the Primo pad. And she's an angel baby, so that's no problem. Maverick destroys beds like that, so he doesn't have that luxury. And he seemed like in the winter time he was getting like a little chilly like on the primo pad because it's that like you know slick um just really tough you know waterproof material he just seemed a little cold he would like curl up in the back of his crate like really tight and like a ball and he doesn't normally sleep like that he normally like spread eagles everywhere so I wanted to switch him for that reason but also because I wanted him on something like a little bit squishier because he doesn't have an additional dog bed in there and you know with labs in their elbows um, getting the little calluses and stuff I just wanted him on something like a little bit squishier. So that was my reasoning for switching him to a gorilla dog bed and these dog beds are water resistant but not waterproof. So underneath this canvas layer there is a water resistant liner and then there's the bed. So that definitely helps with like, as you can see, he's kind of a grimy boy, so he drools and stuff everywhere, so <laughs> it gets dirty pretty fast. Um, but you can wash both this canvas cover and the liner um, on the inside, and I have some clips of me the last time we washed it, so I'll include those as well after this. The other thing I also like about the Gorilla Dog Bed as well as the Primo Pads is that this one also will fold up inside the crate, so even though it's thicker, it's squishy, so I can still fold the wire crate up and travel with it with the dog bed inside. So I don't have to take the dog bed out or the pad out when I travel, which is honestly a must-have for me. I'm not going to take these out every single time I want to move them. So the Gorilla Bed also attaches to the bottom, like from the bottom of the pad. This is also same thing with the Primo Pads to keep the dogs from being able to get to it. If they can't get to it, they can't chew it. And then they also can't get the bed up. So we've got it attached on all four corners. You can also attach it more. Uh, we just haven't found that we needed to. He doesn't get the bed up even with just the four corners attached. And these are like Velcro, you know, straps through the tabs of fabric they've got here. And it just the four holds it down plenty fine where I've never, like I said, had him get it up or anything like that. I always hand wash the Velcro straps for the Gorilla Dog Bed. Even though they're underneath the crate, they still kind of get grimy. And then for the canvas cover and the water resistant liner, I just toss those in the wash on a regular cycle with regular detergent. And once that's done, I do hang dry both the liner and the cover. I follow the directions on the Gorilla Dog Bed website on how to wash them. I don't think you're supposed to put them um, in the dryer if I remember correctly. So that is why I hang dry them. So I have all of my additional information here, so if I'm looking down, that is why. But I will start with uh, the Primo Pads. So Primo Pads has a 30-day warranty, so if your dog destroys the Primo Pad in the first 30 days, they will replace it one time for free. And the large single-door Roughland crates, crate pads were $35 a piece. And then Juno's Wire Crate, which is a 28 by 42 was $60 and their shipping is $15 to $20 depending on the size of crate pad that you order. You do, you can get a discount if you bulk order. So if you have a bunch of friends who want, you know, some Primo pads, like in your area, you're way better off doing a bulk order. You'll save money on shipping and you'll save money on the individual price of the pads as well because it decreases the more crate pads you order. And then for the Gorilla Dog Bed, they have a 125 day warranty, so if your dog destroys the bed in the first 125 days, they will replace the cover for free. So the canvas cover around the outside, they'll replace for free in that first 125 days. Now that specific, they have a few different crate pads, but the specific one I have is the Solid Color Gorilla Ballistic Tough Orthopedic Dog Crate Pad. 
Now, I'll have everything linked down below, don't worry. Um, but that crate was, or that pad was $148, and that is the large size, the 42 by 28. So not uh, as inexpensive as the Primo pads, but if you're looking for something with a little bit more fluff and um, a different cover, you know, instead of that slick um, waterproof material, then the Gorilla Dog Beds, I think, are a great option for you. Like I said, uh, Maverick is a digger and a chewer, and he has destroyed a few beds in his <laughs> so far year and a half or so of life. So I definitely would recommend both of these beds for dogs that dig and chew. Now, obviously, every dog is different, so you may have a way more aggressive chewer or digger than Maverick is, and they may, you know, destroy these beds. So that is something that's always a possibility. I'm not going to go ahead and say that these, you know, two beds are going to be perfect and they're never going to get damaged. But I think that if you're looking for something that's going to last longer than a basic crate pad, both of these are going to be great options for you. So as always, if you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. Everything will be linked in the description. If you enjoy these videos, definitely hit that subscribe button and join the Butler Canine family. And we'll see you in the next one.